Today on the Transplant Helper, I'm going to be offering to you five suggestions you can instill in your life right now to hopefully improve your overall kidney health. Stay tuned. Hey folks, welcome to Transplant Helper again today. My name is Jim Merle. Today we're kind of going to be picking up a little bit of where we left off the other day in our program in talking about kidney health. Now, if you saw the episode from the other day, you probably remember in that episode we were talking about the five signs and symptoms that you might be having a kidney distress episode. If you hadn't seen that, I'll try to link it up here in the corners as well as in the description below, and you can go ahead on over and check that out at the end of this video. But with that said, today we're shifting gears a little bit, moving forward just a bit to talk about the five five suggestions that I have for you in order for you to improve your kidneys health. But before I go any farther, let me please remind you, I'm not a medical doctor, so please don't take what I'm telling you as necessarily medical advice. However, I'm assuring you the things I do suggest today will do no harm, okay? That's basically my plan is to tell you things that will not hurt you. They will only help you. Now, with that said, let's jump right in. Again, these will be the five suggestions I'm offering to overall improve your kidney health. Number one, very simple, drink plenty of water, okay? You know this, I know this, we all know this, but I have to be reminded of it constantly. We need to be drinking plenty of water in our diets every single day. As a matter of fact, I found it to be a pretty good practice that as soon as I get up in the morning, I walk straight to the kitchen and get me a nice sparkling cool, uh, awesome glass of water and go ahead and just kind of sip that down very slowly and move on with my day. That kind of gets me in the right mood, kind of gets me started, kind of allows me to get on the right track and to get my feet going the way they need to be so that I don't end up dehydrated, hence causing a lot of extra stress or strain on my kidneys. Now, I get it. There are some of you out there that are post-transplant patients that are on restriction diets as far as your liquids. You need to be listening to your doctors as far as the amounts, but I'll assure you it won't change the fact that we all need water. Water is the vital ingredient that filters its way, its way down to your kidneys and then allows them to do their job, which major job includes the filtration of toxins and just bad stuff that's in your body. You need water in order to do that. Let me add to that as a side note that you're always better off in staying hydrated if you're not guzzling water okay don't guzzle water when you guzzle water or just turn up a 20 ounce or 30 something ounces we might have now when you just turn that up and chug it you're actually putting a lot of extra stress and strain on your kidneys because you're saying hey uh, here comes all this stuff take care of this right now. And you don't like that kind of pressure on you, uh, you know, just in general daily activities and your kidneys certainly don't. Okay. So take your water and sip it down. I like to suggest to people that they find themselves needing hydration or even being dehydrated that they use what I call the 10, 10, 10 method. And that's to drink 10 ounces of water every 10 minutes for 30 minutes, wait an hour and repeat, and you'll be rehydrated very quickly, and it'll probably be in the right amount so your kidneys can handle that, okay? So number one, drink plenty of water. Number two, this one seems simple again, but don't delay the call, okay? I'm the world's worst, just like a child even. Uh, my little kids, I get on to them about this, but I'm the world's worst about needing to go pee-pee and I don't want to do it. Maybe I'm busy. Maybe I just don't have time. So I think, or maybe I think, oh, I can hold it. I can keep going. And I've got a long track record of being able to hold it all day long. You know, I'm that guy who refuses to go in a public bathroom, that sort of thing. You may be different. Yeah, you get desperate sometimes. But overall, I refuse to go in a public bathroom. So I'm bad about leaving the house in the morning. And I won't go to the bathroom until I come back to the house in the evening. That is terrible on our kidneys. Your kidneys are doing a vital job for you again trying to filter those toxins, trying to clean out your, your bloodstream, your body. And if it does its job and it has it there prepared for you in your bladder to put it out, you need to go ahead and let that happen so your kidneys can kind of relax a bit, kind of back up, if you will, kind of take a deep breath. I'm talking like kidneys do that. But anyway, to try to catch a little break there so they can prepare for what's coming up next, which is taking care of you once again. So be sure when nature calls, you go ahead and take care of that. That was number two. Number three, avoid salt, sugar, and excess 
red meat type proteins. Now, let me just go ahead and lay this out. I love steak. I love hamburgers. I love all types of red meats or any kind of meat. I'm a meat eater. Some of you are not that, and I'm not arguing with you about that particularly, but I do know that when you get in your diet, too much red meat protein, and I emphasize protein, that can be detrimental to your kidneys. As a matter of fact, you can get into a condition known as uh, protein urea, and I don't know if I said that right, but protein urea, which is basically just a doctor's way of saying you got too much protein passing through your urine, and you need to avoid that. That puts tremendous stress on your kidneys and can even do some damage to them when that occurs. So a lot of times when they're checking your blood, they're checking for uric acid, but they're also going to be checking for protein urea or that high level of protein. Now I also mentioned their salt and sugars. We all know about salt. Okay. Salt is not that good for us. We need to be limiting our salt intake. So I think it's something like five grams. Check me out on that. Watch somebody else's video for that. But limit your salt intake to about five grams, which is really not very much. And that will help to uh, allow your kidneys to work and keep some of the strain off them. And then sugar is the same. Sugar is one of the number one places where that protein urea or high protein levels come in. It's taken in through too much sugar. And sugar really just causes a lot of problems, including inflammation and such that maybe I've talked about here on the program before. Just stay away from it as most you can. I get it. We're probably not going to be completely clear of any of that, but at least lowering your salt, your sugar, and your animal uh, red meat type proteins can help with your overall kidney health. So that was number three. Number four, uh, be sure to add to your diet uh, plenty of berries slash juices. And if you can eat the berries, that's going to be best. You know, things like strawberries, blueberries, cranberries, probably my least favorite of the three. And watermelon is absolutely great. The water that is really is in watermelon is absolutely awesome. Okay. It's completely natural, completely clean, completely free of toxin. It's really the way you need to go. So go ahead and take in as many berries and juices that you'd like. Now be cautious about that because if you go into the grocery store and just pulling the juices off the shelves and getting them, they're all stuffed with the sugars and all the bad stuff to go with that. If you can become, and I'm not one, I'm not claiming I am. This is more of a do as I say, not as I do situation. But if you can become one of a natural juicer type people where you go out and get yourself a juicer or some kind of blender, I guess a $10 blender might help. Uh, put some of this stuff in there. Put some cranberries and strawberries and all types of fruits and vegetables and even whole watermelon with the seeds in it blend that stuff up drink it up and i promise you it will help to improve your kidney health that kind of goes along the same vein with the water almost because of what you're getting but it's so natural and clean to do it that way so that's great for your kidneys number five and this is the last one here probably the one that surprised me more than any of them and that is being sure that you're getting a good night's rest. Now I have to back up and emphasize one big word in there. That's good night's rest. Something I rarely get. And that's a lot of times based on my own. Okay. I'm the guy who's a, a night owl. I like to stay up. So basically if I don't go to bed, I don't get the rest that I need because regardless of what's going on in my life, at least based on my schedule and my family's, I have to be up at six or six fifteen. So if I start my night at 2 a.m., obviously I'm not going to get enough rest. And if that rest, even if it were uh, an 8, 10, 12 hour rest makes no difference. If it's interrupted constantly by something, it's not going to be the type of rest that we need. And you say, well, Jim, why is that important? Why does it really matter? Well, it matters because of your whole body, but it also really matters because of your kidneys, because your kidneys, like so many of your vital organs, really they're kind of doing their best of their job while you're at rest, while you're relaxed. You know, you think about it, if you're asleep, you're not taking in any liquids. You're not taking in any foods. You're obviously not taking in the more dangerous stuff, the salts and the sugars and the proteins. And so your kidneys have really got that whole overnight process to stop and say, okay, now that there's nothing coming in, let's work to get all this cleaned up. Let's work to get all this ready to go out in the morning, you know, kind of like a shipping company or something. 
and there it goes in your first morning's urine and the kidneys are refreshed and ready to go. So if you're the guy that tries to be like I said I was a moment ago, the first thing you do is you go in and you reward your kidneys in the morning with a fresh, clean glass of water. That's an excellent thing. And then throughout the day to kind of recap these steps, if, if you're not, if you're going to the bathroom when you get the call and that's helping the kidneys, if you're avoiding the salts and the sugars and the animal uh, red meat protein stuff that's helping drinking berries and juices and then again tonight get yet another good night's sleep and your kidneys will thank you for it okay if i hope this has helped you out in some way if it has how about go ahead and hit that big like button give me a thumbs up maybe share this video out with your family and friends be sure to comment below if you're interested tell me about some of the things you're doing to maintain your kidney or basically your overall health lifestyle changes or adjustments that would be huge to helping the transplant community because a lot of times I learn more from reading your comments than I can learn any other way. So share that out with me and the others. It'll be greatly appreciated. And by the way, let me remind you, there are oftentimes several videos that are popping up right over here beside me. Maybe my videos, maybe the videos of others that you can just keep on watching. You're already on YouTube, so why not? And that's meant to benefit you and help to educate you as a transplant patient. But until next time, please... Stay stronger, friends.